हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस क्लास इज़ क्लास नंबर फोर ऑफ द ब्लेंडर एक्सट्रीम बिगनर सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी एक्सप्लेन द कस्टम इंटरफेस इन ब्लेंडर इन टू डेज क्लास वी विल लर्न हाउ टू नेविगेट इन ब्लेंडर इन ब्लेंडर नेविगेशन रेफर्स टू हाउ यू मूव अराउंड एंड इंट्रैक्ट विद द थ्री डी व्यू पोर्ट दिस इंक्लूड्स एक्शन लाइक पैनिंग जूमिंग रोटेटिंग द व्यू and navigating through different views and perspectives to work on your 3d model effectively some navigation tools are displayed here on the screen first i will explain how we can use these tools from here for example if i want to orbit or simply if i want to rotate the view around and view the object from another angle i will click and drag the mouse here where all the axes are shown and another thing whenever i press any key on the mouse or keyboard it will be displayed on this screen so you can see from here which keys i am pressing so you can see that we can orbit using this tool below here we can see the magnifying glass icon by clicking and dragging on it we can zoom in or zoom out clicking on this icon and dragging the mouse forward will zoom in and dragging backward will zoom out if we want to move the scene or create an object on this side we will use the pen tool for that we will left click and drag the mouse on the hand icon let me recap again this is the pen tool this is the zoom tool and from here we can orbit but this is not the most efficient method because repeatedly navigating from here while working on the project can waste a lot of time therefore we will use shortcut keys for zooming we will use the mouse wheel if we scroll the mouse wheel forward it will zoom in and if we scroll it backward it will zoom out and you may have noticed that when i zoom in or zoom out using the magnifying glass icon it smoothly zooms in or out however if i zoom using the mouse wheel scroll it zooms in or out with increments so if you want to smoothly zoom using shortcut keys you can press and hold the control button and the middle mouse button and then by dragging the mouse you can smoothly zoom in or zoom out and for orbiting you can click and hold the middle mouse button and then drag the mouse to orbit you can see that we are easily orbiting just by clicking and holding the middle mouse button and dragging the mouse and for panning you can hold down the shift key on the keyboard and then click and drag the middle mouse button to pan this is the basic navigation but if we move through the scene and the objects disappear from the screen and we want to bring the view back to focus on all the objects then i will click on the view and then click frame all its shortcut key is home button on keyboard this will bring all the objects back into our view and if we have a selected object in the scene and we want to focus on and bring it into view we will select the object and then click frame selected this will zoom in on the selected object and bring it into view let me demonstrate it again but if we want to go to a specific view such as front back or any other we can click on any axis here to go to the corresponding view for example if i click here i will go to the front view and if i click on this axis i will go to the left view from here i can go to the top view
and if I want to go to the back view, I will click here. It is for the right view and to go to the bottom view, I will click here. But we will use shortcut keys because we can save a lot of time during work with them. For that, you will go to the view menu again and in the viewpoint options, you will find all the views and their shortcut keys. You can also click here to go to any view. For the top view, the shortcut key is numpad 7 and for the bottom view, it's control plus numpad 7. Similarly, for the front view, it's numpad 1 and for the back view, it's control plus numpad 1. For the right view, it's numpad 3 and for the left view, it's control plus numpad 3. Now let's check different views using shortcut keys. Numpad 1 for front view and control plus 1 for back view. Similarly, numpad 3 for right view and control plus numpad 3 for left view. Numpad 7 is for top view and control plus numpad 7 for bottom view. These are some shortcut keys for different views that you need to remember. It might be a bit different to remember them at the beginning, but as you use them more, you will memorize them. And yes, we also have the option for the camera view. If we have a camera in our scene and we want to view objects from the camera's perspective, we will go to the view menu, then go to viewpoint and then select camera. Then our scene will switch to the camera view. The shortcut key for the camera view is also mentioned there, which is numpad 0. So we can switch to camera view at any time by pressing numpad 0. So this is how we can navigate in Blender. I would like to mention one more point that could help you in navigating. As you can see now, when I zoom using the mouse scroll wheel, regardless of where my mouse cursor is, it's zooming to center. Even if I bring the cursor here and zoom, it's still zooming to center. But if you want the zoom to occur at the point where our mouse cursor is located, you can also do that. For this, you will go to edit, then, then click on preferences and then click on navigation. Here we have the option zoom to mouse position. If we check this option, now when we zoom, you can see that it zoom in or out at the point where the mouse cursor is. You can see it happening. Beside that, we have another option here. Orbit around selection. First, I will move this cube to the side. If I orbit now, you can see that it's orbiting around the center. But if I check this option and select the cube and then orbit, you will see that the orbit is centered around the selected cube. And if I select the light and orbit, it will orbit around the light. So you can use it this way also. I will uncheck it now. And if I select the cube and press numpad dot, it can also focus on the object and you can orbit around the selected object this way. So this is how we can navigate in Blender and if anyone has any question, he can definitely ask in the comment section. I hope you understood today's class and we will meet again in the next class. Until then, goodbye, take care.